The Sunday School lesson for March the 19th, 2023 is Jesus Talks with a Samaritan Woman. John chapter 4, verses 7 through 15, verses 28 through 30, and verses 39 through 41. To the viewers and subscribers, welcome to my channel, The Backstory. I am Audrey. As you know, on this channel, you will become aware of the backstory, which includes the events that take place before each Sunday school lesson. The agenda is as follows, the backstory, the lesson text, and a brief summary. Thank you so much, viewers and subscribers, for the thumbs up that you have given me in the past. If you are a viewer and you have not subscribed, please do so at this time. Thank you so much in advance for your support. The Backstory. Let's begin. The Backstory for our lesson is told from John chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Now, Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that he was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John. Although, in fact, it was not Jesus who baptized, but his disciples. John chapter 4 through 3 tells us then that, so he, meaning Jesus, left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. The story continues. Now he had to go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of ground Jacob had given to his son, Joseph. Notice the map on the right. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon. Now, this is where the Sunday school lesson begins with verse 7. Key verse, key text. Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. John chapter 4, verse 39. Verse 7. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? Verse 8. His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. Verse 9. The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Verse 10, Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Verse 11, Sir, the woman said, You have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Verse 12, are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Verses 13 through 14, Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. Verse 15, the woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. Verses 28 through 29, then leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Verse 30, 
they came out of the town and made their way toward him. Verse 39, many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. Verse 40, so when the Samaritans came to him, they urged him to stay with them, and he stayed two days. Verse 41, and because of his words, many more became believers. A brief summary. The returning disciples were surprised to find him talking with the woman, but did not question him about it. The message the woman spoke when she returned to the city drew a crowd to see Jesus firsthand. This unlikely meeting between a Jewish teacher and the Samaritan audience gathered by an immoral woman lasted for two days. As a result, many Samaritans joined the woman in her belief. The harvest had begun. Thank you so much for watching. Join me soon for the next backstory. Stay safe.